Welcome to another episode of the Frey Experience. As you all know, this is Marine Team. I am back again. There's Tyler Frey right there getting ready for the day. He may not go down in history, but he'll definitely go down on your sister. Stay tuned for another Bass Pro episode. What? All right, guys. So we made it here to Bass Pro, as you guys see right there. Going to do a little vlogging today out here with uh, Courtney, Tim's girlfriend. Actually, Tim's wife. Oh, God, I forgot about that. And you got Tim and you got Bobby. Make sure you go check out their YouTube channel at Dual Anglers. I'll leave it to their uh, description. Their YouTube channel in the description. So, as always, guys, stay tuned. guys so just got back from Bass Pro and I got a couple things that I'm in a box to show you guys what I got so we've got the live target swim bait right here this is I believe in something like that it's like gizzard shad or something it's half ounce I took most of the information out uh, because I want to take a look at it but it's a pretty interesting swim bait and uh, I haven't heard too much about it I got it just for the sheer fact that I wanted it and I thought I'd give it a try for you guys. Don't know when I'll be throwing it, but uh, you guys can definitely count on a video of this. It's about probably about two and a half inches long. Tail looks pretty darn cool. Um, who knows if it'll run straight. I'm hoping it will. Um, what I'm not a big fan of is how the fin's right here. It's supposed to be, I'm assuming, to be a little weed guard, but you better hope and pray that these fish eat this bait. Um, it does give you the option for a, a treble hook to, or a trailer hook to be put on any there being a single or a treble hook. Um, above all, it's a pretty cool bait. This mimics almost all the bait fish, any any shad basically here in the mother load. And uh, don't know when I'll be throwing this, like I said, but definitely count on a video. It's pretty it's a pretty interesting bait, and it's I'd probably throw it on 10 to 12 pound test. It is a small swim bait. You get away with throwing it on smaller test. Moving on to my out, oh, my battery's about to die. We got some gold minnows right here. This is in emerald shiner. This is in the four inch. Drop shot, light jig head, just for crappie, small bass, the whole nine yards, anything you really want. And then um, those jig head that I was telling you about, throwing this on, just bouncing around right here, is the Finesse Shrooms. Is that shroom? Okay, I guess we'll call that the Power Finesse Shrooms. This is the Jig Worm Jig Heads by uh, Z-Man, or just the Ned Rig in general. So this is in Green Pumpkin. Uh, I believe these are 3 8 Nope. They're... One six ounce, whatever that is. So it's more in <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. I don't know why they do this. It says one tenth, one sixth, and then one fifth ounce, which I have no idea what the heck one sixth would be. So overall, this would be obviously for a, a little bit of finessiness. And it's, of course, make your bait stand up on the bottom because it has a flat head and all the weights in the very front of it. And I got the longer shank and the heavier duty uh, hooks due to the fact that I tend to bend them out or break them off. And, uh, that's everything. Oh, here we go. This it's uh sorry. The swim bait was uh threadfin, threadfin shad, and we have all we have those in every basically every lake here in uh, California. I would say maybe not the Delta or Toll, uh, not uh, Toll, but Clear Lake. Those have a bunch of lake, a bunch of different baits. So I'm pretty sure they're in there anyways. But as always, guys, stay tuned for another episode of the Free Experience. <laughs>